Good morning, welcome to my Bar Outdoors. Um, so today I'm just sat up front of the common and I was having a bit of a think about gear, um, EDC gear specifically, and how much stuff I've got versus how much stuff I actually remember to carry with me. Um, nine times out of ten, I've usually got some small pocket knife on me, but occasionally I forget. But having said that, I've always got my keys on me, so with that, keys come everywhere, so if I'm going to do an EDC, it should be on my keys really. So, let's get rid of all my house keys now. I've got these large weight bearing carabiners. This is um, a mammoth branded one I picked up from Go Outdoors. Um, the only reason I go for climbing carabiners is the gates are um, better, they don't tend to fail. You get some of these cheap Chinese carabiners and they do tend to fall apart and you lose all your stuff. So, let's get rid of that. So, my actual EDC key ring then. This is a jailer split ring. You can pick these up on eBay for about a pound. All it is is just a large key ring. It was very, very easy to get that apart, so you can add things, take things off of it. Um, I went for that over a cheap carabiner because, again, the gates do tend to fail on cheap carabiners. So I went for the jailer split ring. So I've been EDCing for a long while. Um, some stuff works, some stuff really doesn't work, and I've had to refine things as I've gone along. So for me, this is probably the best EDC that I can come up with just for a set of car keys. It's not going to weigh an absolute ton. Um, and it's got the most functionality. So let's have a quick look then. So I've got Victorinox Swiss Mini Champ. I'm sure you've all seen one of those before. It's got a multitude of blades, scissors, tweezers. It's got a ballpoint pen on a, um, if it will come out, on a slide just there. That's actually come in handy a couple of times. So I used it on an insurance claim once. Um, some guy crashed into the back of me and needed to get his details, so the, the, um, the pen came in handy for that. Scissors. Without a shadow of a doubt, the scissors are the most used tool on any multi-tool I use. Scissors get used every day for some purpose or another. Never underestimate having a pair of scissors about your person, so yeah, fantastic. They get used all the time. Um, one of the more important features, um, a bottle opener with a screwdriver in the end of it. Always need a bottle opener whenever you're going about. Um, so you get two blades on the Swiss Mini Champ, you get the regular blade, you also get this, they call it an emergency blade, it's just um, like a Warncliffe type shaped blade. Um, I've not used it, I've left it alone, so I normally use the main blade on the tool for most of my cutting duties. Really easy to keep sharp, you just drop it on a leather belt. So that's the Swiss Mini Champ, that comes everywhere. The only problems I've had with it are with the scissors, they've got a, um, a spring there, I've had to bend the spring back outwards because the scissors just weren't springing open but that's easy enough to fix yourself you can also buy replacement springs for those um, the other problem I had with it was one of the scales fell off the plastic scales where it's been knocked around on my keys in my pocket and all the rest of it one of them fell off but I managed to super glue it back on just got one of those small vice clamps just clamp that until it had dried so that's the Swiss Mini Champ fantastic about 25 quid in the UK so lighting Normally I carry lead lenser torches, I've got a few lead lensers, I had one on my keys, the key ring snapped off of it, I lost my lead lenser torch. I didn't want to spend a fortune on something that's going to be hung off my keys and it's going to get battered and knocked about. So I had a look on Amazon, um, this is a Varta branded torch, it's all plastic construction, there's no metal on it whatsoever, so it's not going to get scraped up too badly. Uh, why did I specifically go for this torch? Well, price mainly, is about £6. And you can go on YouTube, there's other people reviewing these little Varta torches and they are actually completely waterproof. I've seen these submerged in a glass of water, switched on, still working absolutely fine, no dramas. Nice and easy to operate then, so you just twist and your light comes on. Massive bumblebee. Um, yeah, so it's nice and easy, there's no switches to break, it is waterproof. You've got an um, O-ring seal just around the bottom of the threads there. It takes one single AAA battery and then you just screw the unit back together. So it's LED as well, so you don't need to worry about replacing light bulbs or any of that rubbish. Six quid, nice and easy. Uh, one thing to watch, make sure it's um, almost screwed tight, but not so tight that it's on. Obviously you don't want to have that come loose and fall off, so just be careful with that. So that's a Varta torch, six pound from Amazon. So, fire lighting then, you've seen, this is just a cheap non-branded generic fire, still with a hole in it, that goes on my keys. I've got a carry more scraper thing. You've got those teeth there, those teeth there. I don't use any of them, I just use the back edge. You see me use this. There's a sharp burr on there that gets used when I'm um, using the fire still. No worries there. Something's not going to break. 
Uh, this one, this, so I think this is a Rolson screw top container. So, just to know, I don't know if you can make that out. That's a £10 note. I'm notorious for not having cash on me. I'm like the queen, I don't carry cash. But sometimes you need cash, and I've always got a tenner on my keys just for, um, you know, those sort of eventualities. So, a tenner on your keys. A bit fiddly to roll up. Um, you might find it easier if you get a matchstick, and you can then roll it around the matchstick and get it into the container a little bit easier. Tip from the top don't try and insert the bang note into this large section. Jam it in a small section, it's much easier, and then you can just slot the larger section over the top. It's got an O-ring seal just on there. No complaints, waterproof. Uh, this old thing, uh, this has got matches. I need to put some more in there, actually. This is just regular striking in with matches, which I've had to um, cut down slightly, chop the ends off just so they'll fit in this gold container. And there is also, hidden in there somewhere, a little bit of striker strip for it as well. I know there's strike anywhere, but a bit of striking material just there. So I do need to chop down some more matches. I've got two, four, six, eight. There's nine matches in there. I should be able to squeeze another sort of four or five in there without too many problems. And then that just screws together onto that. Another O ring seal. It's nice and waterproof. So, yeah, I've had a few years to think about EDC. And I've carried a lot of stuff on my keys, a lot of stuff that's bulky or inadequate or it comes with a stupid key ring that breaks off. Um, so for me, I mean this is small, it's quite compact and if you don't want to take it with you, it's all on one ring, you literally just unhook it off your carabiner and you can put it on the table, but why you wouldn't want to carry something this small with this amount of functionality, you know, it's, a, it's beyond me. So yeah, if you're thinking about EDC, think about your car keys first, not what you can strap onto your belt or what you can throw in your backpack. Think about what you take with you all the time. Chances are it's going to be a bunch of house keys. So why not add something like this onto it and give yourself a little bit of functionality, a little bit of protection when you're out and about. Happy days. Um, so thank you for watching. If you've got any suggestions or if you want to discuss your own EDC options with me, by all means drop me a line. I'll be more than happy to uh, hear from you. So yeah, nice and short, nice and easy. EDC, give it a whirl. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. All the best.